Here I have hooked up the motor control board here with the PID board here. I have the motor control board providing potentiometer feedback for the position. And I need to adjust it so that I get quarter amplitude response, which I have done. Quarter amplitude means the big overshoot is four times the little overshoot. Alternatively, the little overshoot is a quarter of the big overshoot. So once I've done that, I can start adjusting my KI, KD gain. Now, incidentally, I started at one and played around with the gain until I got something good. So if I start playing around with my KI and I put my KI in, the switch on my KI is set at 0.1, just so I can start small. And I take a look at my graph, and I don't really see much of a um, steady state error improvement. So I've got to increase my KI. And by increasing it, I now have it zero steady state error. You saw how that changed. When I don't have my steady state, when I don't have my KI in, it's going to look like this. When I do have my KI in, there's actually steady state error there, it's hard to see. When I have my KI in and the gain is large enough, it looks like that. But I'd like to alter my response, so I'm going to turn in my KD. So I've reduced my overshoot there with the initial smallest value of KD. You'll hear that I get some buzzing here. You see that this is responding, so it's noise. I'm going to put in the low pass filter here. And that'll filter out my noise. It's just a signal going through the system, and the motor was being driven by that. So then I can increase my derivative. And I'm working at trying to reduce my overshoot. There we go. Oh, there we go, even farther down. Still stable, it looks like I've reduced it quite a bit. It's triggered. Oh, and look at that. So I'm getting zero steady state error, I'm getting a very fast response, and I'm not getting a huge overshoot. If that overshoot is good enough, I'm finished tuning. Uh, I can also... As soon as I put up the... I've reduced the overshoot, but because of the uh, noise on my differentiator, it's no good. I have to keep my, my derivative turn lower um, than I would like it to be. I would like it to be higher. So you see a real-world problem that practice trumps theory. There is noise, differentiation attenuates the noise, can't do anything about it. So this is about the best I can do. You can see the motor has that little overshoot to it. If I take out the derivative term, a lot more overshoot. If I take out the integral term, should be a little less overshoot, but there's a bit of steady state error potential there. In fact, we're lucky this system is set up just right, so there's no steady state error, but there could be. Or well, the steady state error is so small I can't see it on the scope. All right. Now, because I was talking about it earlier, I've just put up the input to the motor board on the screen is two volts per division. So we can see in the positive side, in initially we go up to over six volts. 
almost 7 volts on the input and then we dive down to correct to slow things down in the opposite direction so we're telling the motor put a lot of torque it could be clockwise or counterclockwise we hit the peak so oh yeah no we got to slow down and we actually say put torque in the opposite direction so that's one now when i put in the derivative so this is just the gain pure gain when i put in my integration term that i had before this is what it's going to change to Okay, so we got a little bit more uh, overshoot. Our input hasn't changed too much, although uh, it has changed a tiny bit on the later part of it, not on the initial part of the chain. And then we put in the derivative. And we can see it's changed quite a bit. And if I can zoom in on that, So we're setting a hard limit right at the beginning there. So if you see that, that's a hard limit where the arrow is. So it's limited. We've gone, we're into wind up now. This board doesn't have anti wind up. And then we resume out of that. Again, if I take out the derivative term, so I take out the derivative term, not the integral term. There we go. Let it trigger. And there we are. So you see a smaller input. That derivative term has really hammered the input at the very beginning for those big, fast changes we need. And we take out the integral. Here's the end part. See what that looks like. We take out the integral. You see how it's changed the input to the plant. So again, the purple line is the input to the motor board from the controller board. All right. So that shows you some manual tuning.